We're going to need to know um, the bore of the carburetor. And the bore could be elongated or oval. And this particular carburetor has a rectangular section in the middle and um, an arc at the bottom and an arc at the, at the top. If you have a telescopic uh, gauge, then you can measure it with a telescopic gauge. And the small end of the gauge, you can see there's a, a fat end and a, and a thin end. Fat end here, thin end here. For a small carburetor, the thin end would be at the bottom. Because the, the arc of the, uh, at the bottom is tighter. And we would put it in, measure, release, measure, and then measure with our vernier gauge. Okay. Measure it off. And then we have our, our bore. If you don't have um, telescopic gauges, you can use a bit of cardboard. And um, you can sort of take a guess as to how big it is and uh, measure out a parallel uh, strip and uh, just drop it in. And if it's too big, you'll know. Generally speaking, you'll be looking for round, round numbers. And um, so in this particular case, it's, it's 19. So if you were, you know, if you're trying 20 and it won't go, then you can, you can try 19. And, um, and in she goes. So that, that's, that's perfectly fine. Um, if you want it to be perfectly accurate, then you can measure how, how much higher it goes. It's probably about a millimetre. So you could actually log slider travel as being 20 if the car body is, um, is 19. Next, we can move on to the, the, the needle. And for the needle, ideally we need a, a vernier gauge and place the circlip on notch one. It's slightly distorted, is the circlip. Slightly distorted because it's pressed on. So I would measure just at an edge and we extend our vernier, place it on, on the needle, bring it up to the notch base and then slide down till we touch the tip and then log the measurement. In order to establish the, the gap between notches, with care, take your pliers and pull off the circuit and move it up one notch. And reposition and place on the second notch. Okay. So now we can repeat the measurement. So extend. And lay the vernier on top. Bring it to the same measuring point And then slide until you touch the needle tip. And measure. And that will be 33. So the first measurement was 32, the second measurement was 33. Clearly, for this particular uh, series of needles, the notch gap is one millimeter. So we now have, we can, and we can, we can write that down. So we have, so we have N1 to the tip, which is 32. And we have the notch gap, which is one millimeter. And then we count the gaps. And so we're not counting the high points, we're counting the gaps. One, two, three, four, five. So on the A series of needles, there are five notches. Okay. The final measurement is how much of the needle is 
stuck out of the the slider and we need that on notch one and so we we pop it in through the um, to the slider as we can see and if you can if you can get your finger in you can hold it down otherwise you're going to have to be inventive and once again we extend the uh, the vernier and we place it on the base of the slider and with care we measure and that is 20 millimeters we have all the measurements that we need to be able to tune the carburetor now 